it's very it's very chicago yeah but i'm digging it so you have all the hype stuff here you have all the yeezys apparently um yeah just chilling solars yep, off whites <laughs> off white twos did you get them before virgil passing um no yeah because then they went up no unfortunately not these i got on the low yeah i don't think these things were going too much chicago like though i'm digging it you want to see the most chicago thing in here sure is that an autograph signed by michael yes, jordan sir. himself yes sir the goat How'd you get that? Six fire red, five signed by Mike at the Lake Tahoe Celebrity Golf Tournament in you, uh, 2007. Did you just like have it on your foot, or you brought it out? No, I got it from a lady. She w lives out there, and she had three pairs she brought with her. And wow. She let me buy that one. And that <laughs> one is, it's got the right away. She sent it off the PSA DNA, so got everything certified, certified and authenticated. Good to go. Wow. Yeah, the the M&M's? The M&M's from Fat Joe's personal collection. Did you get this from... Um, 2J's. 2J's? Yep. Just had this man. It's from Fat Joe himself, huh? Yeah. Alright. Oh, did you go up to Urban Assessi or yeah, something? I went... Uh, this was back in April. I was out there for work. Oh. Stopped by. Saw those. Thought they were going to be an asinine price. They ended up being a best price I had seen for that pair in a long time. So Nice. And I even see you have the Dennis Rodman signed too. Yes, sir. Jeter signed it? Yeah. Oh, I see it right there. Yep. yep. All right. So, there we go. Jeter. And of course, you got the OGs, the Bread Fours, yep. Last Shots. Oof. One of my favorite shoes. I know. They're just comfortable, you know what I mean? Super comfortable. That's what I play ball in pretty much all through high school. The 14s? Yep. I bought Man. the ginger lows. That was like one of my favorites. I even see you got some customs too. Yeah, there's some. This one some here. Surgeon surgeons. There. There's some surgeon here. Surgeon. This is made out of Python. It's like the shot. Oh, yeah, the shoe surgeon. This is cool. Tis the season. He just does his own thing, right? He yeah, just kind of cuts it up. He just builds mm. it from the, from the sole up. And that one came in this box, which this is like one of his OG boxes where he burned Sue it. Surgeon? Yeah. Yes. Slides, and then it's got. It's pretty dope. Diamond panel? Yeah, I see, because you also have freaking. Are these the 85s as well? This. These are all the 85. 85. 85, 85, 85, 85, 85, 85, 85, 85, 95, 95. There's a few. Well, AJ, that is, uh, it's pretty crazy, man. There's a few, there's a few. <laughs> Do you have the one with the X in the back? Uh, no, no, no. See, I never, I never, I never, I never see it. Yeah. yeah. I, I didn't either, actually. I, I kind of wish I grabbed them when they were at a decent price. Now they're they ridiculous. It is what it is. This is one of those shoes after a while. I was like, do I need to You're such a sport fanatic this here. Other, you know all the Cubs stuff? Other stuff I collect. And you said the seat here is... Here. Yeah, so... This came from Courtside. Courtside, United Center, SAC Courtside, all six of the championships. Holy moly. Yes. And then, yeah, so a lot of good stuff here, especially 2006 Cubs when they won the World Series. Yes. So we got my boy Ben Zobris, we got manager Joe Manon, we got Mr. Rizzo, we got a role as Chapman, Theo Epps, we got everybody. We got a lot of people in here. We got the. What year did the Cubs win? 2016. Um, is this MJ's rookie card? Rookie card. Is this worth like a bazillion dollars too? It's, it's, it's decent. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> went up. But yeah, I love collecting like game used, especially 2016 World Series. Like these were worn by Corey Kluber, Game Four of the World Series 2016. You even put 2016 World Series game used. How you would you have to like bid this on an auction or something crazy? There's a mix of auction. There's a mix of getting it directly from the clubhouse. Like this right here. These were the cleats Anthony Rizzo was wearing when they clinched the uh, going to the playoffs against the Cardinals, 2016. Mm. I 
see you. You have it, all these cuts. Yeah. This is from no. Game Five of the World Series 2016. Actual news. I respect the collection, man. I really do. What we got here? So this is from 1935. There was a group of gentlemen in New York called the Circus Saints and Sinners. And every year they would honor a big celebrity. 1935 was Babe Ruth. So all these signatures here are the who's who of New York that were part of this organization. And Babe Ruth signed it right here. And this was a charcoal drawing that this artist Zito did. And this is actually a picture from the event Ew. where he was presented this particular drawing. So you'll see right here where it says Fall Guy. Yeah. Fall Guy. But here's the crazy part is I got it graded. And the gentleman that graded it said it was a perfect 10 and it was one of the best examples they've ever seen. It's probably worth much. Is this the worst you think? If let's say you I went to pawn, yeah. You just got you get the right people in the room. Right. Yeah. There's some crazy so this, mystery stuff. This is a lot of stuff that people don't even realize I collect. Because like shoes are but of course. I, I've, I've been into this stuff for, for yeah. You are OGs, man. Oh anyway guys, just wanted to check out that segment, guys. It was really dope. I check it out, my guy. AJ in Chicago, man. Had probably one of the dopest collection. Real sneaky head, man. He had all the 85s. Um the, the 94 Chicago's and also the 2015 and a bunch of other heat man so I was very thankful that he actually did uh, let me come to his house and check out some things so I was able to show you guys but stay tuned we also did a full segment video we did a full comparison with the lost and founds 85's and 94's and the 2015 Chicago colorway of Air Jordan 1 so I think that'll be a dope video I'm gonna be working on that but hey it's always a good time in Chicago AJ did treat me right went to a nice restaurant had some uh, real deal Chicago Chicago pizza, which I did find out all the locals in Chicago don't eat a uh, deep dish, which is like it's more for tourists. Hey, I didn't know. But anyways, just want to say always a great time in Chicago. But speaking of Chicago, I do have a quick little unboxing boxing for the this is an early, early look, guys. So is it not even supposed to be even coming out to like probably the end of December from what I'm seeing? And voila, check it out, check it out, check it out. You guys are see it. This is an Air Jordan 2 box here. This is how it's coming, and this is my size, size nine and a half. And I need to give a big shout to my man. Where the hell's the business card? You didn't leave a goddamn business card? So, Chase that guys, make sure you guys follow him on his IG and all that good stuff. He gets all the early heat and everything. If you guys want to check out his website, legit guy, good guy. Appreciate you, my bro. Anyways, like I said, these are, whew, here it is. Got a little pamphlet of uh, the shoe here. So, you guys can see that. And here's the shoe. Voila, check it out, check it out, check it out. This is the Air Jordan 2 Chicago. That's right, and man, you know Nike, especially this year, Nike and Jordan brand has been trying to be, is trying to hype up and pump out the Air Jordan 2 silhouette. Not sure if it's actually been succeeding as in terms of like, you know, like height wise or anything like that. They still sell out. There's still, you know, Air Jordan 2s that do sell out, like the uh, the Unions and I, even the J Balvin's actually sold out too. And they, those things retail for like $300. The one shoe that I think a lot of people, especially real sneaker heads out there are gonna be pretty excited for. This is the legit, like the real deal, OG colorway Chicago Air Jordan 2. Now this is one that I think a lot of sneaker heads are gonna probably like to have in their collection. Especially, you know, if you guys don't have a lot of Air Jordan 2s, which I don't, I don't have a lot of Air Jordan 2s, not gonna lie, I never start collecting a lot of Air Jordan 2s, but for them to bring out some old Chicago colorways, I dig it, man, I dig it. Today, just some people are just not gonna like Air Jordan 2s, you know, and I agree. I Some of the, some of the models of Air Jordan 2s, I don't like either, you know. Like, I think I, I still got my unions, and I have the other, uh, collab one but i didn't get the j balvin's those things were like 300 dollars retail and my other only other air jordan twos are the off-white chicago colorway so 
yeah a little differences definitely <laughs> obviously these are the off-white joints and it's a low cut but these are the highs now like i said i think these are set to release at the end of december we'll see hopefully it doesn't get pushed back or anything like that it's like at the very end of december so technically this is still going to be a 2022 pair so not sure if it'll make the list of top 10 but still i think it's a shoe that a lot of og stinkerheads out there are going to really enjoy so anyway guys uh stay tuned we'll have a full detailed review and all that good stuff on these things man and yeah man just going back to chicago was always a good time shout out to aj aj in chicago make sure you guys follow him on his ig we did a little um tour in his uh sneaker collection in the beginning of the video and also shout out to my guy soul chaser anyway guys appreciate y'all love y'all if you guys don't mind please hit that thumbs up subscribe if it's your first time here comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications i do drop vids and don't forget to follow me on my social media at drum and chris on ig sometimes on twitter and don't forget snapchat anyway guys appreciate y'all love y'all i'm jumping chris Push.